President Hugo Chávez of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela announced Saturday the decision to take the necessary steps on formally establishing the Fifth International for Socialist, Progressive, Workers and Communist Parties to coordinate efforts across the globe aimed at ending capitalist exploitation and imperialist oppression. The official agentship Bolivariana de Noticias reported the president's announcement came during a session of the extraordinary international meeting of parties of the left, taking place in the Venezuelan capital Caracas. President Chávez explained the decision, saying that the current material conditions facing the international working class, the most progressive and advanced social class in history, necessitated the move towards better facilitating the struggle against Western capital domination and hegemony. According to President Chávez's proposal, the decision would be put forth before an extraordinary session of the United Socialist Party of Venezuela, where an official vote would take place. Following approval an international steering committee would proceed to outline the Fifth International's organization structure and institutional objectives along with establishing a school of the Fifth International towards for the training of cadres and promoting socialist theory and ideology. The president expounded on the Fifth International's aim towards building a concrete, global and organized socialist movement to combat neoliberal capitalist, imperialist aggression and the gross exploitation of human and natural resources, with an emphasis on learning from the mistakes of the past and building a viable alternative to the bourgeois wage labor system. Chavez also expressed the dire need to combat revisionist and failed tendencies that proved unable to withstand their own contradiction in the past, including crush of revisionism, social democracy and third-way ideologies. Delegates at the weekend session of the extraordinary international meeting of parties of the left in Caracas overwhelmingly supported the decision to establish the world's fifth international. Previously, the last legitimate international association of communist and workers' parties was the Third International, also known as the Comintern, founded in Moscow in 1919 shortly after the Great October Socialist Revolution in the wake of the failures and courts country visionism of the Second International. The Third International existed until 1943, when it dissolved itself to better enable communist and workers' parties in Europe and across the globe to better pursue the path towards socialist revolution based on the material conditions as they existed in each country independently. The so-called Fourth International, which never attained recognition by the international working class as a legitimate successor to the Third International, was founded by the anti-Soviet conspirator and convicted spy Leon Davidovich Bronstein Trotsky in 1938, while in exile in France. The so-called Fourth International claimed to conspire against both capitalism and Marxism-Leninism, and preached the revisionist tendencies of Trotskyism. For more information please visit www.freemediaproductions.info.